Eli Muskowitz, the freak with the weird lip, then the hawk, and now <laughs> Four Hawk. How the mighty champion has fallen from grace. A lot of people seem to agree that the character of Hawk in season 5 was not the best, and I can totally see why. He was simply, as Caleb put it. <laughs> Yo man, it's just Yasmin and Moose bitches. But nobody really goes on a nitty gritty and explains why his character overall is a flop. That's why I've decided, with the input of my friends, to work on this and explain in detail why he doesn't work and how to improve him. Before we can know how to make Hawk better, we need to know where we went wrong in the first place. The problems begin when he's instantly pushed in the back on of episode 1. Not only is there no elaboration about his choices in Miyagi-Do after the All Valley, but he's only given one piece of dialogue that infers he doesn't want the dojo to shut down. He's then not in episode 2 at all and returns in episode 3 getting a lotus flower. It's pretty cool to see him back with the season 1 trio, but his role in this episode is stuck to him giving Miguel dating advice. The episodes after don't help his case either. Everything you thought Hawk had changed after his arc in season 4 goes out the window. Finding being humble and not being cocky or overconfident? Nope, it's still a major problem. Finding peace and even respect Robbie after the last fight? Nope, still hate him. Knowing not to mess with Kenny? Nah, he goes at him more than once. I know that Cobra Kai has never been the best at keeping a real continuity with seasonal arcs, but the fact that Hawk shows the more problems here is a real cold red. It just feels like they tried to keep Hawk in the show by putting him back into a sort of weird season 3 slash season 4 state, which is really a downer because of how good his arc was to begin with. Episode 10 tries to convince us he's learned a lesson. He's gone back to the early days of his blue dye, which in itself is a confusing spontaneous exchange after Green literally the prior, and he's telling Kylo, You win some, you lose some, but you gotta move on. Then proceeds to get saved by Dimitri after struggling with Kyler. Even though all the problems I outlined are blatant, it's not inherently terrible on paper. Here's how I will rewrite the Miyagi Do Chan with existing and new concepts alike. Firstly, the responsibility he feels towards Miyagi Feng as a leader due to winning should have been expanded on. He just got this and he doesn't want to lose it. Have him be recognized in public ahead of Water Park or background details depicting references to Eli winning and show Eli's disappointment without karate in his life. Repurpose or scrap any questionable dialogue like him wanting to beat Robbie's ass or being cocky against Chosen. Make him show more balance and not simply wanting to fight to solve his problems. Limit that persona to how he views Cobra Kai in general. Then in the Sekai Taikai fight, have it so he does go all out from the start and as he gets a point on Kenny. And when Terry calls a timeout, Robbie tells he likes to hold back and the fight process like normal up until the uncaged the hawk scene which is replaced with Eli saying he's going to use full balance, only to get off guarded by civil bullet. Then episode 10 can say the same, but his speech would mention something about figuring out all aspects about yourself to foreshadow a potential arc in season 6, which could possibly be about him no longer wearing the mohawk or relying on it as a crutch. All in all, the potential was there for Hawk in season 5. The writers just didn't seem interested in continuing his story and were overly focused on Miguel again, which is a good thing for that character, but for the Hawk and even Robbie fans, it's not really that great of a thing. Let's just hope that season 6 gives us a good ending for the badass hawk. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't consider leaving a like and especially don't subscribe. Until next time, Cobra Kai fans.